Hey guys, welcome to day 130 of my carnivore journey. And of course, this is my my vlog, uh, my daily vlog, where I tell you guys what I eat, how I feel every step of the way. That way you know every day like that you're going through it, you can look and see what I went through. So hopefully if you're new, subscribe, come join the family. For the rest of you, let's get going, guys. Um, so I am finally recording on track. <laughs> this is day 130. Today, sorry about the late videos. I know that this video is going to be published here probably in the next 20 minutes, and I just published one a little bit ago. So I know it was kind of back-to-back, -back, but again, I missed that one day, so I was trying to spread them out just a little bit, but I just figured I'll just load the other one up. Uh, while I was making my coffee, now I got my coffee made and might as well go ahead and record this one. If not, I'll probably end up forgetting it. Okay. Uh, so day 130, guys, uh, just to let you know what I had today, I didn't get to have any kind of lunch, you know, like what I would say, like a 2.30, 3 o'clock kind of thing. Because uh, guys, normally I eat around 7-ish, 7, anywhere from 7 to 8. So my lunch is what I consider around 2.30 or so. That's when I break my fast window, usually with a couple eggs or maybe a meat stick or a couple hot dogs. Depends on what I have available. Today, I just was busy and never ended up stopping and never having anything. So when I got home, I made me a one pound burger. And I gotta, I, I gotta give a shout out to my friend, uh, so I met one of my customers today who runs a uh, yeah, like a vape store. I had to go work on their internet and, you know, we got talking and, and he um, was a really cool guy. He's from the Middle East, from Yemen. And he ended up um, giving me like a little ramekin of like onion powder. And it's from his mother. He said that it's it's it was and it looks kind of black in color almost not black but oh it looks like like a little thing or maybe almost coffee right it's dark like brown coffee not not the real black coffee but like like a brownish coffee but anyways but it's real fine you know real real finely powdered and apparently it's an onion powder I guess I think he was the way he was describing it, I think he said it was I think it started out as green onion maybe and I think his mom does something where she like bakes it. There's like this clay oven thing or something that she bakes and takes it out and then bakes it again. And I, I guess, I don't know. I don't know the full process, but apparently it's made in a very traditional way or something. I don't know. Maybe if any of you are familiar with Middle, Middle Eastern spice traditions or how they make certain spices, but this was like an onion powder that they make. And he let me, um, take some i had enough dosage there to do for two burgers so tonight i used it in my burger instead of the normal onion powder and my burger was really good it, it had that extra little notch up uh, i would say thanks to that special onion powder that was homemade and, and and it gave a little extra smokiness to everything so really good so shout out to him also uh Let's see, I, and you guys know yesterday, or if you have not watched day 129, the one called Confession, if you have not watched it, stop this video right now, like pause it and go watch it. Okay, I'm going to give you a chance because I don't want to spoil anything, um, but I just want you to go check that out, watch that video, plus it helps us out when you do go watch it, it gives us, it gives me views. It keeps our channel in rotation, keeps other people. And the more we build our family, the more people we're bringing in the carnivore, the more support we have for carnivore, all those good things. So guys, if you haven't yet, pause it, go watch that. Okay, so now maybe you're back, <laughs> or for some of you, you stayed, because maybe you already watched the day 129. Or you're just like, screw it, I'm just gonna get spoilers and whatever, anyways. So in my confession video, I snuck onto the scale. <laughs> I kind of felt like I was stalling. I'm like, I don't know, man. I feel like I could be stalling. I wasn't sure. I was at 268 something. And, and 
it's just, I don't know, like, you know, with my gut, it just keeps feeling like, oh, you know, maybe I'm stalling. So I snuck on the scale and I was down to 263. So I did actually hit that 265 benchmark. I, I got under it, which is really cool. But my overall goal is 250. Um, that I want to hit by day 180. Um, and then that's not my overall goal. I should say like that. I made it sound like that's like, I'm just going to quit after that. No, I mean, I want to keep going. I don't want to weigh just 250. I want to weigh less. Uh, for some of my height, I should be under 200 for sure. So I got a ways to go. But in any case, it basically said, Hey, I lost another five pounds. And if you look at the time frame, it really is on track for that 2.9 pounds a week, so to speak. Um, and this was even, I even snuck on the scale, like at night when they tell you not to weigh yourself. <laughs> so, but anyways, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, I don't have a whole lot, um, for you guys other than, um, I will give you a little clip, a little teaser clip at the end. Um, so some of you know, I do a variety of things. I do a lot of filming and, you know, stuff like that. I don't typically talk a lot about my personal life. You know, on here, I, I, I want this channel to be mostly all focused on carnivore and diet, you know. Um, but I'd like to share some things with you guys sometimes. And some of you are interested in certain things. So I also will play some video games from time to time. And there's a game that I've been starting to get hooked on. And it's been around a while. But it is one of the most immersive um, Civil War games out there called War of Rights. And if you've never heard of it, I would say go check it out. But if not, I'm going to play you a clip at the end of me playing just a little bit. This is just a small company of people. Um, like I'm in a battalion. And we were in a small group getting ready to charge this not really charge charge but it's not as organized but we we're getting ready to go over this hill and try to take this location from the uh from the confederates i'm on the union side for those of you that don't know the union versus the confederates right north versus south and um so what you're going to see is just us sort of getting together uh, fixing our bayonets and heading over and getting into a quick skirmish, things start happening. I gotta warn you, there could be just a little bit of blood uh, in there. So if you're a little squeamish and you don't like kind of gore-ish, it's not super gore. I'm just saying there might be a little bit. So if you want, don't watch the end of this video. <laughs> but for those of you that wanna see me head into action, um, it's it's really cool the, the the sound effects the authenticity of the game they recreate actual historic maps um, the game is is so good with its um, reenactment stuff that they actually have reenactment groups use that in a video game setting to film reenactments to to like you know in a video game setting so to speak but the graphics are really good. Uh, but the sound effects are as authentic as they can be. Everything is is very much on point. So I'm going to take you right up to the point. You're going to watch us get ready. We're going to go over the hill. You'll hear a few of us as we kind of get ready to go into battle. You know, I think I say like Godspeed or something, you know, a couple of us. Uh, because this, this game also supports over 300, almost, I think it's up to like 400 players. It's an online actual war, you know, in, in a video game sense. So, anyways, I just thought I would talk a little bit about that tonight since I didn't have much to tell you guys. Today was a good day. Felt pretty good all day. Again, um, my dinner. If I didn't talk about my dinner, I'm sorry. My dinner was a one-pound burger. I know you guys. It's like, I know some of you are like, really? Are you getting sick of it? Um, I will say, though, tonight's one-pound burger is from the same batch of meat from yesterday. And I, and I sat there and hand mashed it up real good, but it still felt very fibrous to me, um, if that makes any sense. It, it, you know, so the texture wasn't as enjoyable for some reason tonight. Flavor-wise, it was really good with that new onion powder, that homemade onion powder. 
Flavor-wise, it was really good. So I ate the whole thing. I also warmed up some hot dogs, some leftover hot dogs and chili, my, uh, my chili recipe. Um, I do want to film it for you guys instead of just telling you guys. I do want to actually film it one of these the next time that I go to make some some chili sauce. I think uh, Dan, is it Dan maybe? I don't know. One of you guys uh, was telling me in the comments you were actually going to make it. Um, so I, I asked, please let me know. So I really do hope if, if I ever have a recipe and you guys try it, Hey, come back and let me know. Like, did you add anything? Did you take away anything? Did you like it? Like, give me some feedback. Um, but other than that, guys, all right, well, I hope you enjoy this clip of me and, and it's not a very long clip. It's not a lot of battle or action, uh, in a way, but you can see a little bit how the game is. And right as we get up to the house we get hit with artillery shells and they charge us so i'll we'll leave it at that all right guys cute hat they seem to like better you shouldn't crouch you push you immediately in skirmish lose tickets that way along the response. okay gentlemen spread out and we're gonna charge let's go but consolidate on point. Let's go, Lord Mayor. Let's go. Godspeed. <laughs> 